Hey guys, Jason Leno here. Today's training update is going to be the conclusion of my second mesocycle of fifth set. Uh, so to just jump ahead a little bit, it's been going really, really well. This is probably the strongest and healthiest I've felt in a long time. And the mesocycle went pretty successfully. Uh, when it came to squats, I was able to keep the same amount of reps despite having to increase my weight every single week, uh, which kind of shows that I'm getting that strength and conditioning back that I once had, or to be honest, I probably never had, I'm finally getting, which is nice. <laughs> um, and then when it came to bench, everything went pretty smoothly. Uh, unfortunately, you will see a little bit of a sketchy bench today just due to my restrictions of equipment I'm using. I'm using kind of a cheaper style of a Walmart bench. Uh, so it does shift, however, nothing bad really happens. Uh, it does look more of a gnarly grind, but I assure you it was a lot more comforting than it actually looks on camera. Uh, deadlift is going as good as normal. Uh, I haven't really unwrapped. Next cycle does look like I'm gonna be unwrapping some deadlifts. So we'll have to see how that goes. I am still a little weary due to, you know, past issues that I've had with deadlifts, but we'll definitely have to see. Uh, but all in all, like I said, I'm feeling really, really good. This is definitely the strongest I've been in a pretty long time uh, and not even hitting the heaviest weights that I've hit in a long time. But when it comes to training, I think that was probably always my biggest problem is I was looking more towards the perfect 12-week program to get me to some desired amount of weight that it claims. But finally, I think I stumbled across something that I'm going to be able to stick to for a pretty long time because I am able to achieve other goals, like when it comes to wraps and conditioning and things like that. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see where things go from here. Uh, unfortunately, I can tell you where they're not going to be going, and that is to the Toronto Pro Show for my powerlifting meet. And that is due to, well, it being canceled, like pretty much everything else right now. Uh, you know, it's no surprise. I'm still training in a garage. Um, the gyms aren't open and everything else in the world is pretty much being canceled, which does suck. However, there is talks about another meet coming up in August, uh, which would probably be a little bit more beneficial than the pro show due to uh, the pro show being sooner than later. I was having to uh, quickly get into a peak cycle after this instead of doing my full macro cycle but now I'm able to at least complete one macro cycle uh, and then potentially maybe it extended a bit more before my peak which wouldn't be a bad thing considering it's been a long time since I've dusted off those cobwebs when it comes to competition but guys just wanted to give you that quick update let you know things are still looking up and up but do me that favor, go down below, drop me some comments because I'd love to hear you have to say. Also hit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love because I will see you next time.